So in this video, I'm going to tell you how you blur moving objects within Premiere Pro. Super easy. And if you have a client or video or project, they're like, man, I need to blur out that license plate, that house number, but there's constantly moving things around that object. How do I do it without having to go into After Effects? Well, it's really simple and I'm glad it is super easy and I want to show you guys so you guys can save time and effort in trying to learn, figure out that headache of how the hell do I blur that out? Stay tuned, I'm gonna jump into Premiere and show you exactly how I do it. What is up guys? So now we are in Adobe Premiere. So what we need to do now is let's say for example your client or your video it's like man I have this moving face here or this person I need to blur out that walked in the shot or something along the lines of like oh I have a laptop that I got cover or hey it is a, a license plate that I need to do. Am I going to have to manually track this in Adobe Premiere? What you need to do is simple, super simple. Depending on how you want the blur you can do two different things. You can do a directional blur, a Gaussian blur, mosaic. But for this purpose I'm just going to go and put on a Gaussian blur to it. Just make sure you spell it right. Right here, drag and drop this onto your clip and then you wanna crank the blurriness as much as you want. And then make sure you click repeat all edge pixels or as you can see what happens around the edge. Next is you wanna put on a mask. So you can, there's three different options. You can have a ellipse tool, so it's great for faces. A square, let's say it's for a license plate or some type of laptop, or you can custom draw whatever mask you want. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to draw my mask and I'm just going to very hastily draw a mask around me. And then what you want to do is you want to feather out the mask, right? You can either expand it or make it smaller. And then this is the game breaker. All you need to do is press this play forward button and Adobe Premiere will automatically track whatever you masked out. So even if there is movement, the Gaussian blur layer effect will try its best to detect whether or not there's movement and it will adjust the mask accordingly. So depending on how your fast is your PC and your power, it might take some time. So just wait a while and you'll see the tracking option and just give it a minute or two. Once the mask is completely done, what you want to see here is the mass pass. You'll see a bunch of keyframes created by Adobe Premiere and you just want to simply just drag through it and see whether or not the keyframe was actually made. So all you need to do now is to play it. And as you can see, Adobe Premiere is automatically tracking me with this Gaussian blur layer. Although it's not perfect, as you can see, there's movement and I do not control any of this movement. That was all done within Adobe Premiere. And also made a sample clip right here where I just blurred out my face. Same thing, as you can see here, there's a mask here on my face. And if I press play, you can see my mask is, I have a Gaussian blur. There is a parts where it's not perfect. So what I would do there is I would probably expand the mask a bit. Press play again. All right, it's tracking my face, completely blurred. Super simple. And now it, I just, you probably just saved lots of time manually having to track and move this. Because before, I remember in the older versions of Premiere, I had to manually track that. And that was such a pain in the arse. So that's how you do it. Super simple, guys. And I hope that was able to solve your problems of masking things manually. So now that you know how to do this trick, do it for every time you have to blur something. But also be aware that it's, it's not going to get perfect, except especially if there's like more contrast or, you know, you're not properly defined or in focus. Adobe Premiere is going to have a hard time. So you always want to double scrub through this. And if there's a spot that looks like it's not correct, you can either fix it yourself or you can just press the reverse and it'll track it backwards. That's the cool thing about this tool is it can track backwards and forwards. And there you go, guys. That is how you blur moving objects within Adobe Premiere without having to do track motion and After Effects or all that fancy stuff just within Adobe Premiere. And that, guys, is how you simply blur anything, especially moving objects, with simply just using tracking and Adobe Premiere. And if you want to get more serious about learning crash course of using Adobe Premiere, link is description below, 14 days free off of Skillshare where you can have access to all my courses and one of them is actually learning Adobe Premiere in under 30 minutes, guaranteed you know all the basic shortcuts that I use. And if you want to get the free camera resource guide to help you on your content creation journey, link description below. And I hope this was able to help you a little bit with that headache. Cause I know back in the day when I had a client video and I was using Adobe CS6 and they're like, Hey, I need you to blur this out. And I'm like, 
oh my god, I have to manually keyframe this. But luckily, with the newer engineering of Adobe Premiere, I can use that all automatically to save me time and headaches. So my name is Peter. You're watching A Broke Vision Collective. If you have not yet, make sure you join my free Facebook group and you can ask all the questions you want in that Facebook group. So it saves me and you guys can help answer each other's questions as well. And yeah, my name is Peter. You're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing. But you can always create something. Cheers.